Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here, and we are less than a week from the release of the Black Ops 4 Battle Royale beta. And today we got a ton of information about Blackout from Game Informer magazine. And I'm gonna throw a link to the full article down below in the description for you guys in case you wanna look that up. But a lot of YouTubers have already covered pretty much everything from the magazine. But today I wanna go over some stuff you may not already know, such as the full list of map locations in Blackout. And this this is coming from the online version of Game Informer magazine. Like this information cannot be found in the physical version at all. It's only online. And full credit goes out to Sayout for finding this. But the full list of locations in Blackout are Estates, Construction Sites, Array, Nuketown Island, Firing Range, Hydro Dam, Asylum, Cargo Docks, Factory, Fracking Tower, Turbine, and River Town. And again, these are all the locations in Blackout so far. I'm pretty sure when the full game comes out, there's going to be a lot more and of course more locations are going to be added as the game goes on but this is what we have so far guys and a lot of these locations you may remember they're going to be from previous call of duty games such as asylum is uh Varuk from call of duty zombies cargo docks is cargo from black ops 2 um array obviously from black ops 1 and yeah, a lot of these locations are from previous Call of Duty games, and then a lot of them do seem to be maybe possibly new locations, um, but they don't have the exact name from the previous Call of Duty games locations. Like some of them do, yeah, but a lot of them are uh, different name changes, and I don't know, I just like the way that is because it's not like an entirely uh, exact version of those maps. Like sure, they have the same layout and locations, but all these maps are kind of stitched together and worked around to fit a giant battle royale map. So this is very, very cool, guys. Now we also have a list of consumable perks that you can get by playing Blackout. But the thing about these perks is they do not last you the full game. They only give you a special power for a set duration. And the time kind of depends based on what the perk is. So uh, the list we have so far is Paranoia, and this gives an audio alert when you're targeted by an enemy. Skulker, and this makes you move faster while crowd and prone. Stimulate, this increases the max health by 100 points. Outlander, and this reduces the damage from the circle, but it also increases the speed while taking damage from the circle. Looter, reveals nearby stashes and items. Uh, Iron Lungs, this makes you hold your breath longer while shooting a sniper rifle or diving underwater. And finally, Consumer, and this reduces the time it takes to use an item, heal, or revive teammates by 20%. And the same thing for the map list, I'm fairly certain that there's going to be more perks when the final version comes out and yeah there may be some new ones added on later and finally here is some information about character customization in blackout and as of now there are 20 characters with more on the way and a small list of characters we know so far are frank woods Reznov, menendez alex mason plus the black ops 4 specialist characters and the new zombies crew also the way the characters are unlocked are by completing missions in blackout so for example they gave one with battery and for her you have to find the war machine and then get kills with it and finally finish in the top 15 in the game and then you can unlock battery that way again each character has their own set of unique challenges and missions to complete in order for you to unlock them so uh, there is a lot of stuff here within blackout a lot of content here and uh, there's going to be a lot more on the way now for this next piece of the magazine i want to talk to you guys about kind of gives you a little hint of what's to come in blackout so as of now blackout currently has three tiers of health and armor there's eight primary ammunition types there's 12 equipment items there's 17 consumable perks there's 17 weapon attachments 24 different types of weapons and 125 total items again these numbers could change before the game launches but this is what we have as of now this is so much in-game content guys like blackout seriously sounds absolutely amazing there is so much content and uh, yeah it really does seem like a another game basically inside uh, this one Black Ops 4 multiplayer game so I'm very very excited guys and on screen now I have some images from uh, the blackout mode these are actually some in-game photos of blackout I'm gonna play them on screen for you guys again these are all from the Game Informer magazine online um, in the first image here we see like a little crap cor corn row field um, kind of like a little farm area 
and then here we see I guess that's a factory with a supply drop landing in the middle so maybe kind of like Fortnite you can go to those supply drops and they'll give you loot and then here we have turbines you can obviously see the wind turbines and then uh, here is also uh, the farm as well we can see people are s are stacked up atop the little water tower and uh, there's also the little helicopter though there so that's pretty cool um, in this next image here this is a little island um, again there's also boats too you can get to the island and then the helicopter as well um, and then also another shot of the turbine and then finally here I guess this is Verruckt I want to say and then like a little maze in the middle I'm not all too sure what part of the map this is but I, I think this is Verruckt but yeah these are the in-game photos of Blackout and man like I'm so hyped for this battle royale mode if I was Fortnite I would be really shaking in my boots right now because Blackout does have the potential to completely overtake the battle royale industry. Uh, we're gonna see what happens guys. Again, we do have about a week until the Blackout beta goes live. I'm so excited. Tell me your thoughts about all this stuff down below in the comments guys. Also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thank you for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later.